Hello garden family. I'm gonna do a quick tour around the backyard garden. Today is August 17th. It is the Saturday before the first day of school and I'm out here doing some harvesting. Um, this is from today as well as seed planting for the fall garden. Um, thought I would take you on a quick tour because it looks very different. Um, some things are getting torn out, making room for the fall. Uh, this is the cherry tree that I planted last year. Uh, the branches have gotten really long. Um, I did a bunch of weeding along the fence. Um, I pruned the plum tree, and of course I'm a scientist, so <laughs> uh, each one of the branches that I pruned, um, if it's a different cut, a different way of cutting, I tied it to indicate like blue for instance was a thinning cut um, whereas orange is a what do they call it a heading cut that red one I took a huge chunk off so I uh, colored it red because I want to make I want to see what happens um, and you can already tell that there's some new growth because of it um, hopefully that will give me some fruit spurs next year um, so cleared out all of this, putting down some irrigation um, because got to figure out a better way to water. Uh, the grapes here are starting to turn colors. Um, haven't tasted them yet. I actually thought they were going to be green grapes. Uh, my apple tree was ravaged by a groundhog and there's only one left so I've wrapped it in bird netting to try to save it um, also so I've got oh, so the grapevine is just overgrowing my little trellis area here um, cherry bush hazelnut uh, green beans and the blueberry cherry tomato that I can't remember the name of um, but they're really good. Um, I'm gonna eat one now. My new plum tree, the Baptisia. The $5 apple tree I was trying to save. Couldn't save it. Had to pull it out. Up here on the neighbor side is Rose of Sharon, which is really pretty, but it is evasive, invasive, invasive. So I try to keep it on that side. Uh, lamb's ear back there, blackberry, so I thought it was a bush, some of them are, I've eaten what I can, birds have gotten most, I thought it was a bush, but it's a vine, so I'm going to train it up this uh, fencing here, um, this raised bed has not done well at all, I think I'm just going to turn it into my herb bed because I never got around to planting my herb garden this summer. Um, the nectarine tree that I was trying to save, don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Back in the corner is the blueberry patch that's all spent. Um, I'm starting to do some fall cleanup, so all of that has been chopped down. Uh, this back corner over here. It's my shade corner, hydrangea, some native black-eyed Susans that self-seeded with some hostas and a still bee. This was where the herb garden was supposed to go, but I never got around to doing it. Um, as you can see, <laughs> the trellises are very overgrown. Uh, this one is a, so these are green beans and tomatoes. So this is a green bean vine. These are the sun gold cherry tomatoes. And in that corner over there is cucumber, but I think I've gotten all the cucumbers off of those. Um, this is a patty pan squash that I've been harvesting pretty regularly. I don't think I've got any. There are some new ones coming. This is my strawberry patch that 
was just overrun by crabgrass. Uh, so I've lost some plants. I'm gonna have to replant those. Corn, that um, little experiment I was trying, I was trying to mass plant it to see if it would help with the wind pollination. Um, behind it is a climbing squash plant. Can't remember which one. I've done a lot of squashes. <gasps> Look at the butterfly. I've had so many butterflies in the garden. Um, but that's because I've got a lot of pollinator, pollinating, no, feeders, feeding plants for pollinators. Um, over here, so this is a mess. So if you'll notice, this just falls over. Um, it's both cucamelons and green beans. Uh, cucamelons are the Mexican sour gherkin. Let's see if I can find one. There's one way up under there. Um, but they, it was a small plant and I got fooled. I thought it was going to be diminutive. No, it's massive. Speaking of massive, this is my cat faced Dr. Waichi. <gasps> oh no, did I break it? No, I didn't break it, okay. Um, cat face, Dr. Waichi, he's gonna be huge. Push this back because it's just so much foliage that it's not really gonna be able to produce. I overplanted. Um, a zinnia, Paul Robeson on the other side. That's a really good tomato. I will be planting more of that. Um, raspberry patch is just, yeah, crazy wild. Um, but this is what the fall garden looks like. I don't, I can't remember what this pollinator native plant is, but get a lot of butterflies and some hummingbirds on this thing right here. Butterflies go here and I think the hummingbirds feed on something that's down in there. Um, is there anything I've forgotten? No, but this is what the backyard looks like. I'm gonna plant some uh, sugar snap peas. Those are the peas that I'm out here. That's the stuff that I'm out here planting now. And some broccoli, collards, cabbage, all the cool weather, brassicas, carrots, beets, lettuce, the list goes on and on. But just wanted to share with you all until next time, say bye champ, say bye champ. <laughs>